Okay, guys, we're going to get started. Appreciate you coming on. As always, I'll try to keep things pretty simple, quick, and to the point. Um, today, I want to talk about you know, really having a philosophy and a game plan for your social media presence over the holidays. Um, I think it's really important, and I'll, I'll go through some facts and some points here in a few seconds, but I think it's important we all comprehend <clears throat> that social media traffic really spikes during uh, Thanksgiving, uh, you know, late December, uh, the holidays. Um, there's right off the bat the numbers increase. So regardless if you agree or disagree with any of the philosophies I'm trying to explain, the facts are over the last five years uh, traffic increases to these sites. Less people are at work, more people are at home, more people are playing around with their new toys, their new iPads, their new iPhones. They're on these things and you know as salesmen, as insurance agents, all we can ever ask for is a bigger audience. So what we're going to go through today is we're just going to kind of, one, go over my overview. We're going to talk about how to take advantage of this traffic. And then we're going to talk about what and when to post um, to increase, uh, you know, potential new clients for the new year. So, you know, as I've always tried to explain, in my opinion, no one really buys insurance impulsively. Um, usually people buy it because something happens to them. I like to say life events. Um, you know, whether it's buying a new car, a new home, they get a new job, they start a new business, you know, they have a child, they know somebody dies, or maybe it's just going through different phases of their life. I, I think insurance surrounds those things. So, you know, it's important for us, regardless if we're using social media or any type of marketing, it's important for us to make sure that we project ourselves to be experts in these life events. Um, that's going to increase the chance of someone saying, hey, this guy seems pretty smart. He understands my situation. He can help me. So my point is, is the holidays are when, A, people are not working, so they're on the computer more, and B, they are you know, intermingling with more people that are in their life, family members, friends. Um, and when people you know, get together, when they haven't seen each other for a little bit, they gossip. They talk about life events. They talk about you know, the husband's new job and the kid's new soccer game and, and whatever. My point is, is they talk about life events. And as most of you guys know, problems occur in life. And a lot of the times insurance can be a solution to those problems. So my point is, is it's a perfect recipe for success for us. Increase in traffic, people talking about scenarios and situations where if they just had life insurance, if they just had better liability insurance, they would have been better off. And this is our time um, to obviously take advantage of hitting that nerve and hopefully getting some referrals. And, and I should also say, if you're on the benefit side of things, I mean, how many renewals do you have for 1-1? Tremendous amount of renewals, I'm sure. Most, I think it's something like 45% of all small businesses have a 1-1 effective date. Obviously, they're not getting decreases on their plans this year. So again, another nerve to try to take advantage of. Um, so that being said, what should you guys be doing? Well, first off, do not wait for the holidays. You should have already been posting. Um, you know, this week, um, you know, at the end of this week, I'm sure traffic has started to spike. I haven't looked at the numbers. I, I do know that LinkedIn uh, was starting to spike about a week ago. And when I say spike, you can go onto these sites and actually look at the overall traffic numbers, um, and you can see, um, you know, what's going on and who's hitting them and, and really – you know, that should be a cue for you to take advantage. But my point is, is don't wait for uh, Thursday, next Thursday. You should already be posting at least once a day. Um, and you should, you know, be trying to, again, figure out what the nerves and what the pressure points are for these people. So when you're posting, you know, try to stay away from the solicitation and start to tell maybe some more stories, little three, four sentences, scenarios. You know, how, give someone an overview of a situation and then try to, in the same deal, tell the solution to the situation. Hopefully, people who are kind of browsing social media, they're going through the same situation and they're not sure how to solve it and here's you giving the solution. So my point is, is I'm not sure what you guys are posting on social media. I'm a big believer in balance, you know, promoting, projecting to be an expert, relating to people. And that's good, and that's a healthy philosophy. But I think over the next six weeks here, you know, whatever your niche is, you want to try to figure out, you know, what, 
what are people upset about in my niche and how can I kind of tell a story without quote unquote soliciting to get them to kind of think about how I can help them. I, I like to call it farming, guys. I call it the farming effect. We're trying to plant seeds in people's minds that we can be the solution for them, whether it's for them or whether it's someone they're going to be talking to over the next six weeks. If we can touch enough people on a daily basis, eventually a few of those seeds are going to sprout. Um, and like I said, when these people are sitting around the table and so and so is going through a tough time because of X, Y, and Z, hey, you know, maybe they bring up Bob's Insurance, um, who they use, they haven't talked to, but they specialize in this kind of stuff, and um, you know, you can use it to your advantage. So, like I said, you know, the, any keys to marketing, um, you know, you want to make sure that what you're writing has the highest percentage chance of being viewed. Okay, so that's that's a pretty good fact about marketing. You want to make sure that there's a pressure point that leaves an impression impression on somebody. If you just say, "Hey, I can save you 10% on your your auto and home insurance by bundling," that has no pressure point. That just kind of embeds that you're soliciting something. So again, I think the importance of telling the story and giving a solution with some call to action, you know, once in a while, is going to increase the viability of what you're doing. Um, you know, and, and just you know, some thoughts. Increases in renewal, lack of coverage, fear of price. I mean, these are the reasons why people eventually reach out to someone in the insurance industry. Um, so that being said, here's some kind of quick thoughts on when to post. For next week, um, again, I think you, <clears throat> you want to kind of stick with posting more promotional type items. Don't solicit. The best times to post, oh, and again, people say, well, where do you come up with this stuff? These are based on my statistics over the last four years. I actually track this stuff for my own posting. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, I'm doing posting for a lot of agencies. This is based on all that data. Um, I find that Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving in the morning, very, very, very high traffic. This may be the number one time over the next week that you want to post, Wednesday morning. Um, Wednesday afternoon, people are already on the road. They're already busy doing things. So again, you want to use a lot of common sense when it comes to posting time. But again, Wednesday morning, excellent time. Black Friday morning, excellent time. And Cyber Monday, which is a week from this Monday, is an excellent time. And most of you guys know that Cyber Monday is the has it's basically the day the internet has the most traffic on it. People are on buying things. There's a lot of discounts and sales. Again. I believe in very simple philosophies. We, we, we play by the statistics, um, and the statistics tell us that these days we're going to see spikes in traffic, which means it's going to increase the chance of us being successful. Does it guarantee us anything? No, it doesn't guarantee us anything. But I guarantee you this, guys. You have a better chance of being successful by posting on Wednesday morning than if you're posting at 2 o'clock on Thursday afternoon. Because make no mistake, traffic goes down on Thursday afternoon because everyone's sitting at the table, everyone's watching the you know, whatever, the Cowboys game, the Packers game, and your, your percentages go down. We want to play the percentages. That's how we're going to be successful. When we're talking about Christmas, again, we want to keep things, and Christmas is crazy this year. It's on a Wednesday, which, um, which pretty much means a high percentage of people are going to be off that entire week, which is a great thing for you. Even though you may want to be off, you still have to, I think, put in some time and do some posting. So that whole week, starting Monday, which I think is the 23rd, you want to make sure that all your posting is done in the early AM between 6 and 9 AM. Okay? Again, as the day goes on, you lose people. They're off doing things. They're not likely at work, so they're not likely on the computer. So you want to keep it early AM, and you want to keep it later in the PM, between 7 and 9 PM. That's when people finally kind of come back, they sit on their couch, they play with their new iPad, um, and that's going to be the key. Um, when we talk about Christmas, we want to have a different posting style and a whole different philosophy. Because think about it logically, guys. What do people do during the holiday week there? They kind of re, you know, they kind of try to get themselves pumped up for the new year. You know, 2014 is going to be the year I'm going to lose some weight. It's going to be the year I I do everything right, right? That's what most people think, you know, the, the renewal of a new year. So 
you want to try to use that to your advantage. So from a posting standpoint, we want to try to get, we want to use those types of terms. Be proactive. Increase, you know, your umbrella insurance this year to protect yourself. Be proactive. Um, you know, get a head start on 2014 and take a look at, you know, some of these new different plans that we have to help you. So my point is, is you need to take advantage of that. Um, so with Thanksgiving, more stories, more scenarios, more solutions. With the end of the year, more kind of proactive, trying to pump people up, trying to take advantage of the fact that they're on edge. They know they need to get their act together the following year. And this is going to be the chance to maybe get some impulsiveness out of them and get them in our offices or get them to refer people um, that are concerned and uh, in need of help. So to summarize, guys, the holidays really from starting, I would say, today all the way through January 5th, you're going to see an incredible spike in social media traffic. That's a fact. Um, that, that's, that's our starting point. You're also probably going to see a decrease in your competition, believe it or not, because let's face it, most agents are either very busy with 1-1 one -one stuff, a lot of renewals, all that kind of stuff, or they're taking time off. So you know, maybe this is your chance to get ahead of the competition, put in a few extra hours, but obviously see some results and some momentum going into the new year. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to have this quick webinar to kind of refocus everybody and make sure you're doing these little things right to have an advantage and to touch more people. Again, I think that's the most common, common deal with social media, guys. It guarantees you nothing, but it does guarantee you there's going to be traffic. There's going to be people watching. And if you can curtail your message correctly, you've got a higher chance of touching people on top of the fact that if you're doing it right, you should only be spending a few minutes a day doing it, and it allows you to continue to do what you're currently doing anyway. So hopefully today's webinar was helpful. I'm going to put it on YouTube real quick. And um, best of luck and have a good weekend. Thanks, guys. Talk to everyone soon. Bye-bye.